We called it The Traveler, and its arrival changed us forever. Great cities were built on Mars and Venus. Mercury became a garden world. Human lifespan tripled. It was a time of miracles. We stared out at the galaxy and knew that it was our destiny to walk in the light of other stars. But the traveler had an enemy, a darkness which had hunted it for eons across the black gulfs of space. Centuries after our golden age began, this darkness found us. And that was the end of everything. That is, until I found you. We've always known the darkness would return. to finish what it started. To take our home. That's why I've been looking for you for centuries. There are only a few of you who carry the light of the Traveler, who have the strength to fight the darkness. I'm not going to lie to you, Guardian. You are Earth's last hope. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Andrew House. Good evening. How are we doing? Thank you for being here tonight, and thanks to the millions of people uh, watching live across the world. It was only a year ago that I was on this very stage to introduce PlayStation 4 and share our vision for the future of gaming and entertainment. Our vision is grounded in an uncompromising commitment to gamers that ensures PlayStation is above all else the best place to play. And we know what best means. It means connected. It means the highest visual quality. It means choice, and it means not being a lone gamer, but a member of an extensive community of rivals and friends. The Destiny trailer that kicked off tonight's show is the embodiment of our vision. From its graphic fidelity, to its dynamic social experiences, to its deeply immersive gameplay, Destiny will help define this next generation of gaming. Like so many of the world's biggest and best games, you'll be able to play Destiny first on PlayStation.
Millions around the world have been eagerly awaiting the Destiny beta. Tonight, I'm excited to announce that PlayStation gamers will get their hands on it first, starting July 17th. And for those PlayStation fans who can't wait until next month for the beta to start, we've got something extra special for PS4. Starting this Thursday and lasting through the weekend, PS4 owners around the world will get a chance to play the Destiny First Look Alpha. Visit the website behind me, he says, hoping it's there, to be a part of the first gameplay experience that is only available on PS4. But Destiny isn't just first on PlayStation, it's better. In addition to all of the extra content that only PlayStation customers will receive, I'm happy to announce our first ever white PlayStation 4 that comes... with an exclusive Destiny bundle that will make available when the game releases on September 9th. The bundle includes a 500 gigabyte Glacier White PS4, a white DualShock 4, the game, and a 30-day voucher for, PS for PlayStation Plus. Thank you to our friends at Bungie and Activision. Destiny looks stunning on PS4, and I know you're gonna love playing it on PlayStation. Destiny is just the tip of the iceberg in looking at all of the PlayStation 4 games that we'll show tonight that are either exclusive to PS4, look better, feature exclusive content, or the ability to pay it before any other platform. Let's now take a look at another new IP that will be available only on PlayStation 4. Thank <laughs> you. 
campus. It's a small team made up entirely of recent graduates from two academic gaming programs, Carnegie Mellon's Entertainment Technology Center and the San Jose State University Animation and Illustration Program. We're here to show you our first game, Entwined. It's a game about two souls who are in love but can't be together. And here helping me demo the game are some of the other talented members of the Pixel Opus team. Entwine features a new twist on dual stick control that revolves around learning to guide two characters at once, one with each analog stick. And as you play, you must negotiate addictive sequences of obstacles that grow in complexity and speed. Over the course of nine unique lifetimes, you'll have to bring these characters together. And when you do, they'll transform into an incredible dragon. Each lifetime draws to a close with your dragon blazing a trail across the sky with living paint. And it lets you create your own aerial sculpture. Entwine is a unique gameplay experience, and our team really hopes that you all enjoy it. Thank you. Thanks, Tom. Thanks, Tom. That's great. Hi, everybody. I'm Scott Rohde, head of Worldwide Studios for North America. <laughs> Thank you. If you couldn't tell, I absolutely love this game, and I'm really excited for that young team. It's a beautiful, mesmerizing experience. And here's the best part. You guys will not have to wait to get your hands on Entwined. The PS4 version is available right now in the PlayStation Store for $9.99. with PS3 and Vita to follow as part of our cross-buy program. You can even pull up your PlayStation app on your phone right now and order it, and it'll be waiting for you when you get home. <laughs> so just as Entwined surrounds you in beauty and mystique, the world of infamous Second Son immersed you in a visual spectacle and raised the bar on groundbreaking performance capture. The team at Sucker Punch has been developing a new piece of standalone DLC that will be available later this summer. You don't need to own Second Son to play the DLC, but if you do, you'll get some exclusive content. Please, let's take a look. Hello? <laughs> I'm Pete Smith, and I'm here today to show you Little Big Planet for the first time on PlayStation 4. So Sackboy's here, he's back, and he's very pleased to be here. And I'm going to take you through this level and show you some of the cool new features we've got in the game. So the first thing you'll notice is that we've got much more depth than we've ever had in the game before. I'm now going to collect one of the many new power-ups that Sapboy has in the game. This one's called the Pumpinator, and it can pump air, and I can use it to pump this wheel and reveal a completely new friend for Sapboy. This is Oddsock. 
Hi, I'm Odd Sock, and what makes me different to Sap Boy? Well, for starters, I'm. Oh, I can wall jump. Yes, I can, guys, I can. <laughs> Ooh. Keep Go attention, on, guys, keep attention. <laughs> Oh, oh, hey! Hey! <laughs> <laughs> I'm also much faster than Sat Boy, and I can use my super speed to power things in the Little Big Planet world. And introduce you guys to a new friend called Toggle. Hi everyone, this is Toggle. As you can see, Toggle is the biggest of Sat Boy's new friends. And as well as being the biggest, he's also the strongest. So come on, guys, I'm going to push this really heavy block and let you follow me through. Thank you, Toggle. Come on, stack boy. Sorry. Oh. Okay, so as well as being the biggest new character, Toggle can also become the smallest at the tap of a button and fit through small gaps like this. <laughs> now I'm going to turn back to Heavy Toggle and reveal another new character called Swoop. <laughs> Hi everyone, I'm Swoop. Woohoo! <laughs> so. Although all of the new characters got fantastic, great new abilities, but none of them, like can fly. Let us through. Thank you very much. And the other one. Good stuff. Now I'm going to use my pumpinator to blast these spikes and let us all through. There we go. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Toggle. Oh. Come on. Okay, move on. Oh, I'm going to kill myself. <laughs> now, that wasn't meant to happen. Right, let's both go through together. This time, okay. guys, this time. Blow through. Ready. One, two, three. That's it. Three. Yay! <laughs> so now, with this, with this section, we need to get to the platform high up on the right. And we can all do it in different ways. So I'm going to, as Sat Boy, use one of Sat Boy's new abilities, which is climbing. Toggle can wall jump. Uh, sorry, Odd Sock can wall jump up. Toggle can use his weight on the spring to go heavy and then small and launch himself up and Swoop can fly up. Oh, oh, oh come and get me. Yeah. Ah. Oh, we're all jumping. Thank you. <laughs> go get that boy. Please. Go. And you, sack boy. Thank you. <laughs> so the abilities are really great when you cooperate together as well. So in this section, Toggle if you go small and light. Swoop can pick you up and take you to a platform we can't get to. And make you go heavy. Great. And we can jump through. And we can move on. Alright everyone, let's do some one go. One, two, three! Wait. You know, we've all worked together guys. I'm gonna race you all now. Go, 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 go. Oh, I can't move the resistance fastest. Oh, oh my word. No way. Oh, <laughs> that is definitely cheating. <laughs> there you go. Just wait for me. I'll be there, I'll be there. Come on, Sat Boy. Okay, big jump. Uh, One, two, three, uh, go. Oh. Oh. <laughs> That's so not my fault. There we go. I'm coming, I'm coming. Come on, Sweet. There we go. There we go. <laughs> what do you do without your Thanks again. <laughs> okay, now this last section, Toggle can go down. And pull the sponge and let us through. Brilliant. And I'll, as Sat Boy, I'll use the pumpinator to return the favour. And then we can all get into the rocket and we can blast off out of the level. Oh, Toggle, I think you're going to need to go heavy. Well done, everyone. Good stuff.
Thank you, everyone. We're going to go. We'll leave you with a little bit more of Little Big Planet on PlayStation 4. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. I hope you enjoyed the demo of Little Big Planet 3. The creative community of Little Big Planet has been very active. And by today, over 8.7 million levels have been created and shared by the community on Little Big Planet and Little Big Planet 2. And I'm very happy to announce that when LBP3 launches, you can just go online and play any of this vast catalog of user-generated levels on LBP3. <laughs> with improved graphics on PS4. It's going to be great fun for the whole family this Christmas. But Little Big Planet 3 is just one of the great variety of titles that our Worldwide Studios teams are developing for PS4. And tonight, I get the honor of introducing a completely new IP from one of the industry's most respected Game, game directors. This is a project that is very dear to my heart if you know me and our history with the developer. Welcome to the world of Bloodborne.
Hi everyone, I'm Alex Hutchinson, creative director of Far Cry 4. Our goal with Far Cry is to create beautiful, exotic, and dangerous locations, fill them with weapons, vehicles, and toys, and let you create your own story. This year with Far Cry 4, we invite you to visit Karat, a country soaked in secret history, filled with weaponized animals, and ruled by an eccentric despot. Good luck. The fortress you're looking for is called Ratchet Gaddy. Should be in the valley down below. Okay, I'll head in that direction. Some help taking this place down. Herc, back me up. Did someone call for a tug or a gyrocopter?
please welcome Adam Boys. That looks pretty great. I remember getting mauled a ton in, uh, by tigers in Far Cry 3, so I really look forward to getting a revenge in the Himalayan mountains with a weaponized pachyderm. I mean, come on. You know, this November, when you buy Far Cry 4 on either PS3 or PS4, you can invite your PSN friends to join you, even if they don't own the game. Wow. Yeah. And you'll only be able to do that on PlayStation. Yeah. Through social mediums like Twitter and Facebook, or forums like Reddit and NeoGAF, we are constantly connected to you, the gamers, all around the world, and we love hearing from you directly. Recently, we invited you to send us in some letters about how you feel of PlayStation and what kinds of games you want to see in the future. Let's check out some of those letters that you shared with us. A common theme that you guys wrote in about was zombies. I mean, who doesn't love us some zombie action? Let's see what's been festering in the undead department. Okay, wake up in the morning to the clear blue sky. Turn up the music when I hop in the rod. The windows down, let the whole world see. Ain't nobody rocking like little old me. On the bomb in a bomb will blow up. I got my drugs and my dickies and I put it on black Bang, it's a notch in a flat Cadillac My old lady leaning out the whole window Everybody looking when we walking slow I'm the bomb and about to blow up I'm the bomb and about to blow up A okay, one for the morning and a two for the show But three to be a legend even if I'm cold I ain't fixing nothing, you gon' have to catch me And if you wanna taste, you gon' have to pay a fee Kind of gives a whole new meaning to the term fresh kicks, right? <laughs> At PlayStation, we love us some shambling goodness, whether it's zombies, walkers, or the infected. Most of you know The Last of Us is coming to PS4. Yeah. But what you didn't know is that it's also going to be infecting Diablo 3 in the Ultimate Evil Edition launching August 19th. Yes. You'll be able to battle clickers, bloaters, and stalkers in an exclusive themed dungeon and Blizzard has integrated them deeply into the game so they have their own special attacks. I seriously cannot wait to play Adventure Mode. Now, many of you also wrote in and thanked us for bringing you special perks and benefits on PlayStation. And we love nothing more than trying new things and bringing new opportunities to you, the PlayStation Nation, before anybody else. Now, you just saw Dead Island 2 debut. It will have a 30-day exclusive beta, as well as a full exclusive character class and level only on PS4. And earlier today, we were part of EA's announcement of a special beta for Battlefield Hardline. It's available right now exclusively for consoles on PS4. Battlefield Hardline takes the cops and robbers fantasy we all played when we were kids, but then it goes to a whole new level with awesome action, stunning visuals, and a grappling hook. 
Come on. Now let's take a look at an exclusive new world premiere gameplay trailer for Battlefield Hardline. Sky 5 can confirm a large police presence in downtown Los Angeles. We got an RPG! All units, we have confirmation that a 211 is underway. Your charge is good! Go, go, go! Grappling hooks and zip lines, that is my jam. <laughs> and you know, Play at First isn't limited just to betas. We're happy to announce a new partnership with Disney, which will bring exclusive content to our platform this year. The only place you can Hulk smash in Disney Infinity 2 at launch will be on PlayStation platforms. The Incredible Hulk will join five other Avengers in this exclusive Disney Infinity 2 Collector's Edition for PS3 and PS4. Pretty cool. And finally, as Andy mentioned earlier, there's always going to be more of Destiny on PlayStation. On launch day, you're going to get an incredible amount of exclusive in-game content, from unique weapons, armor sets, gear, kick-ass ships, as well as Exodus, an exclusive competitive multiplayer map. And the best part, an entire exclusive strike on Mars. Strikes are standalone, unique, co-op opportunity or co-op adventures where you get to battle epic bosses. There's literally too much great content to detail tonight. But needless to say, when Destiny comes to PlayStation this year, it will do so first, bigger, and better than on Hulk any other platform. Smash. Hulk Smash is right. <laughs> now a lot of you ask for brand new things that you've never seen on the platform before. This next partner is a great example of that. I'm proud to announce a new partnership with Paradox Interactive. Every single Paradox studio is currently working on an exclusive PlayStation 4 game. And here's a look at their first one. Paradox is proud to present user-created open world. Jikatu, learn to spell again. I think uh, I think I know how to spell pretty well, and I'm pretty sure that's not how you spell Magicka, but uh, just saying. Of all the thousands of letters we received, there was something kind of special and odd about this next one. Dear PlayStation, I heard that the new PlayStation 4 can do anything. Can it do miracles? I'm only 12 years old, so I was not alive when some of the best games ever made came out. Now a lot of them are gone forever. The player masterpiece. 
like for instance one of Tim Schafer's old adventure games, I would have to pirate it, and that's not nice. Please, is there anything you can do to bring great games, like one of Tim Schafer's Back from the Dead? Sincerely, Sally T, H10. I think somebody's trolling me. Okay, so she was 12 at first, now she's 10. There's a fingerprint. Let's move that over. That's got knuckle hair. I think that's a 10 or 12 year old. Let's pan it up a bit. That's not a 12 year old beard. Okay, bring it all the way out. That's Tim Mulholland Schaefer. Okay, Sally, all right. We have some great news for you and the fans. After 15 years, Double Fine, in tandem with our third-party production team, will be remastering your classic adventure game, Grim Fandango. <laughs> It will be coming exclusively to both PS4 and PS Vita, thanks to the relationship with our good friends at Disney. Looks like it's time to get to work, Sally. Maybe start with a little shave. Sally, Tim, Sally, Tim, Sally, Tim. Um, you've also told us that you guys love a wide range of crazy and diverse games. This next partner shares our love and support of independent, independent developers and has brought fantastic games and fantastic games to PlayStation like Vlambeer's Luftrausers and Denetton's Hotline Miami. Devolver Digital and their main man, Fork Parker, have been working on an awesome slate of new titles, and we've officially joined forces. All of the following titles you're about to see will be making their console debut exclusively on PlayStation platforms. for having created you. Will the world you build be like ours, or so different that we today cannot even imagine it? Your will is free because you were made to be free. Let your will be done. You know, after watching the likes of Brobocop and Bronan the Brobarian and Broforce, I can't help but bro out all of our PlayStation names. We've got Andrew Brohouse, Scott Brody, Bro Hey Bro Sheeta, right? Okay, I'll move, yeah, I'll move it along. So here's another letter that we got that I really liked. Every time I play a game, I get to experience the imagination of an artist, and you'll never know where that will take you. This is absolutely true. The breadth of incredibly creative and original games regularly astounds me. One creator who has always pushed artistic boundaries in gaming with inspired stories and offbeat worlds is Suda51. Yeah. And his next twisted trip is only coming to PlayStation 4. Let's check it out.
Video games, right? <laughs> you know what that game doesn't remind me of? Journey. <laughs> Journey took us on an incredible adventure, in part thanks to Matt Nava's stunning art direction and composer Austin Wintory's Grammy-nominated score. They're teaming up again at Matt's new studio, Giant Squid. Let's see the world premiere of their brand new game. Beautiful. And Abzu will make his exclusive console debut on PS4. Just look at this staggering range of content coming to PlayStation Network, all of it pushing creativity and innovation. Thanks to all the developers for bringing your amazing games to PlayStation. It means a ton to us. Thank you for the letters, and thanks to all of our fans for loving games the same way we do. I can't believe I get to do this every single day. Please keep the feedback coming. We're always listening. Our goal at PlayStation is pretty simple, to surprise and amaze you, and we're just getting started. So I'm going to leave you guys with one last game that surprised and amazed me, and will make its console debut on PS4. Please enjoy.
Thank you. Feeling a lot of emotions right now. Uh, I'm Sean. I'm from Hello Games. We're a tiny little indie studio. <laughs> We're a group of friends making No Man's Sky. It's a science fiction game, I guess inspired by the kind of sci-fi that I grew up with. The battered book covers of Heinlein, Asimov, Clark, just worlds that I wanted to escape to but never could. We've created a procedural universe. It's infinite and it's one that everyone can share. We're going to start every player on a different planet so no two people will have the same experience. This universe that we've created, it's, it's so vast, it's so boundless, it's actually infinite and we don't even know what's out there. When the game releases, every player who picks up a pad and plays is going to help us discover a little bit more. And I can't wait. I want to finish with just a tiny taste of what your own unique journey into infinity might look like. Hope you like it. slightly blown. Thank you very much, Sean, and, and thanks to Adam. Uh, a key focus for tonight has been demonstrating why PlayStation delivers the best place to play today and in the future. You've seen that in the diverse portfolio of games coming from our worldwide studios and our close partners. And we're also bringing this to life in new ways with hardware. When we designed PS4, we made a conscious decision to make it the most powerful gaming console ever created and surround it with breakthrough games, features, network capabilities, and peripherals that together would redefine next-gen gaming. A key peripheral that we've offered to PS4 gamers since launch as a choice is the PlayStation camera. <laughs> we believe that the PlayStation camera would be a popular option because of the value it provides for more immersive gaming, but the response has far exceeded our expectations. And we're enhancing the value of the PlayStation camera and what it brings to PS4 by pursuing new, innovative technology that takes gaming to an entirely new dimension. At GDC in March, we unveiled Project Morpheus, which demonstrates how we are fully leveraging the power of the PlayStation camera. The response from the development community and gamers was phenomenal. All of your voices have been heard, and today there are creative teams around the world working with us to define the future of gaming and entertainment. We have Project Morpheus in our booth at E3 this year with two new demos, so I encourage all of you to stop by and try it. Up next is someone who has a 15-year history at PlayStation. That includes eight years at Worldwide Studios in London, and he also served as president of Sony Computer Entertainment Japan. I've personally known him for more than 20 years, and when I think of the game behind me, I can't help but think of him. He was most recently the COO of Sony Network Entertainment, and now as president and CEO of Sony Computer Entertainment America, He's charged with, quite simply, making sure PlayStation completely surpasses your wildest expectations. Please join me in giving a warm welcome to Sean Layden.
Here we go. Thank you. Thank you, Andy. And, thank, and thanks to all of you for the, for the really warm welcome uh, out here on stage. Wow, there's a lot of people in this room. I've been to every E3 except the very first one, from Atlanta, from LA to Atlanta, then back to LA. I've sat where all of you are sitting now, but never thought for a second that I might have the honor and privilege of being on this stage before all of you. And while it is a great honor to be here, I gotta say that the strongest emotion I'm feeling right now is excitement. And, and more than a little pressure. But I'm completely and utterly thrilled to be here. As you've witnessed already, the thirst for innovation at PlayStation is tremendous. Our lineup of genre and blockbusting titles is a testament to that. And our desire to bring great games to all of you is matched by our commitment to bring a great gaming experience throughout the world of PlayStation. So let's start by talking about PSN. Our network is robust and ever-evolving to deliver the experience gamers want. And we have heard loud and clear what you're looking for, powerful ways in which to share your experiences and connect with your friends and the growing PlayStation community. To that end, we continue to bring new tools to the PS4 faithful to enable that desire for shared experience, such as Share Factory and the photo mode in Second Son. And we'll continue to enhance our features that redefine how, when, and where gamers play. A quick look at that reality is frankly awesome. Nearly 95% of PS4s worldwide are connected to the network. And the social activity is astounding. More than one and a quarter billion hours have been spent gaming. More than one billion multiplayer sessions have been played on PS4 since launch. That's a lot of deathmatch. <laughs> the share button on the DualShock 4 has been pressed 220 million times as gamers invite friends and the community to check out their gameplay. And that last metric will climb even higher when we bring YouTube to PS4 later this year. With the simple press of the DualShock 4 share button, PS4 gamers will be able to quickly upload video captures to their YouTube channel. You will also be able to see your friends' shared YouTube videos in your What's New activity feed. PS4 is also the first console to allow you to live broadcast and spectate game sessions. Already, more than 150 million spectate sessions have been viewed on PS4, and we're constantly innovating this experience as well. Look, when you're watching at home some schlock horror movie, sometimes haven't you felt the need to, or the desire to scream at the, the television screen, look out behind you or don't open that door? Well now, only on PS4, you can effectively do just that while spectating and they will get the message. Not only can you watch someone's gameplay in real time, you can now interact with that person's game experience while they're playing. You can help them, you can harm them, it's up to you. But you're right there with them. This is another way we're going to redefine what social gaming can really mean. This summer, we will further enhance PS4's broadcasting capabilities with some new content for The Playroom. The free DLC will allow you to easily create your own custom broadcasting sets so you can further personalize your message and content for the wider gamer community. Never losing sight of what has always made PlayStation great, we're using the network to bring you more of what you want awesome gaming experiences. Games that are epic and challenging, and games that are more accessible, such as free to play. We're committed to making game PlayStation the best destination for free to play games. Free to play offers a great way to discover new worlds and experiences, 
and we think this category will explode on PlayStation in the coming years. Right now, we have more than 25 free-to-play games coming to PS4 in the next 12 months, including Kingdom Under Fire 2 from Blueside, Planet Side 2 from Sony Online Entertainment, there you go, and Guns Up from Valkyrie Entertainment. And on PlayStation, at point of entry, free to play means free to play. Let's take a look at that. Free to play, what more do I have to say? Okay. There you go. We just talked about ease of entry and the joy of discovery. And at PlayStation, we continue to develop and innovate simple ways to access content. PlayStation Now, fueled by the power of the network, will provide our community with access to our massive gaming libraries, starting with PlayStation 3 titles. We have continued to tweak and refine PS Now since its initial beta test, and are proud to announce that the service will be available in the United States and Canada as an open beta on PS4 starting July 31st. Shortly after that, PS Now will become available on PS3 and PlayStation Vita as well. We also, we also want to unlock our library of games to those who still don't own a PlayStation device. So later this year, we're bringing the PlayStation Now experience to select Sony televisions. If PS Now is available in your area, all you need to do is get a DualShock 3 and you're able to play our vast catalog of games. Yeah, that's pretty amazing. During the open beta, PlayStation gamers will have access to more than 100 PS3 games from the industry's best publishers, our own worldwide studios, as well as the best of the indie development community. In our booth at E3 this week, you can play such major hits as Dead Space 3, God of War Ascension, Metal Gear Solid 5 Ground Zeroes, Ratchet and Clank Into the Nexus, and Ultra Street Fighter 4. Yeah. We'll use the open beta, continue to listen to your feedback and gather insights about your experience with the service. We'll also work with our publishing partners to test a range of rental durations and prices. We do look forward to hearing from everyone who participates in the beta, as your voice will have a direct impact on the development of our service. Bringing PlayStation Now to PlayStation Vita 
is another example of our commitment to the platform. With PS Now, Vita will have the best catalog of games available on a mobile device, and the only mobile device with access to the deep library of PlayStation games. Innovation on Vita continues, and its integration with PlayStation 4 has expanded the way gamers use the device. Remote play gives Vita owners quick access to PS4 games, and the response has been overwhelmingly positive. With remote play, PS4 blockbusters, such as Call of Duty and Assassin's Creed, will further showcase PlayStation Vita as the ultimate mobile platform. In total, there are more than 100 Vita titles in development today, including Tales of Hearts R from Namco, Ubisoft's beautifully hand-drawn RPG, Child of Light, and Telltale's mashup with Gearbox, Tales from Borderlands. Minecraft is also coming to Vita, and it will be the full console experience with co-op included. We got some Minecraft fans. PS Vita will remain a key pillar for us, and we look forward to sharing more gaming experience across Vita dedicated titles, PlayStation Now, and PS4 Remote Play. At Tokyo Game Show last year, we announced another new console, and the outpouring of anticipation and excitement was unprecedented. As a result, we are now preparing to launch that product in the United States, Canada, and Europe starting this fall. So let's talk about PlayStation TV. This little gem will be able to pair with your PlayStation 4, allowing you to play your PS4 game via remote play on a second television in your home. It will give you access to video and music streaming services, will give you the ability to play hundreds of PS3 titles made available through PlayStation Now. And of course, PlayStation TV will also play most Vita titles, as well as PS1 and PSP classics. In fact, our Disney partnership continues with Disney Infinity 2 coming to PlayStation TV and PlayStation Vita early next year. In total, that's nearly 1,000 games that PlayStation TV owners will have access to at launch. PlayStation TV will be available for $99. We will also offer a bundle for $139 that will include a DualShock 3, an 8 gigabyte memory card, an HDMI cable, and a digital voucher for the Lego Movie video game. New games, new hardware, new network services. The pace of innovation at PlayStation continues to accelerate. And as our world expands, we will stay true to our roots to create imaginative games that foster fun while pioneering new gaming concepts. A little earlier, I was delighted to hear Andy give a shout out to one of the most iconic games of our time, Vib Ribbon. Yeah, give it up for Vib Ribbon. A personal favorite of mine that really embodies the PlayStation spirit. It wasn't a multi-million seller, but that's not the point. Vib Ribbon was unafraid to go against the tide. It was courageous in its ambition and it brought a completely new experience to gamers. It's an incredible time to be part of the PlayStation family. I look forward to growing our gaming community through breakthrough experiences that inspire and delight. After all, guys, it's all about the games, isn't it? And speaking of games, in 1996, I got my start at PlayStation in Japan importing and localizing games from the US and Europe for the Japanese market. That's kind of like trying to import wine into Napa Valley. 
But one of the first games we localized was Mortal Kombat 3 on PS1. The game that introduced the concept of fatality to the Japanese gamer. That's why it's a tremendous pleasure and a unique thrill for me to introduce on this stage the worldwide premiere of gameplay footage for Mortal Kombat X. I will relieve you of your burden. You offend this one, Farah. What, Ladybug? Do about it! Exterminate! Fight! Really, what can you say? <laughs> Thanks, Sean. At PlayStation, we know building a portfolio of incredible games is paramount. But we also know that PS4 owners are using the console extensively for watching their favorite movies, TV shows, and listening to music. Millions of PS4 owners are using the likes of Netflix, Amazon Instant Video, Hulu Plus, and Music Unlimited. And our entertainment offering on PS4 is about to take a new superhero twist. Sony is one of the largest entertainment brands in the world, and we're fully utilizing its vast resources to bring new experiences and more value to PS4. Last year, Michael Linton joined us on stage to announce that Sony Pictures Entertainment is developing brand new original programming available exclusively on PS4 and the network. And we're not just bringing any new content to our platform. In line with our focus on the highest quality entertainment experiences, we're developing and curating content that is tailored specifically to what gamers love most. Our first original series is called Powers and is based on the critically acclaimed graphic novel series, thank you, of the same name created by Brian Michael Bendis and Michael Avon Oming. In addition to Powers, I know many of you are familiar with Brian's work with Marvel as he is one of the highest selling Marvel comic writers ever. He also sits on the Marvel Creative Committee and has consulted on every Marvel movie since Iron Man. Please join me in giving a great PlayStation welcome to Powers co-creator and executive producer for the series, Brian Michael Bendis. <laughs> Uh, 
Thank you, Andy. Hello, PlayStation Nation. It is an honor to be here personally, and we are so excited to officially announce to you that Powers has been greenlit two series from Sony Television and PlayStation. Thank you. For those of you who don't know what Powers is, Powers is based on the comic book and graphic novel series of the same name, created by myself and artist Michael Avon Oming, and it tells the story of Christian Walker and Dina Pilgrim, two homicide detectives that work cases specifically about Powers. That means if the greatest superhero in the world suddenly falls dead from the sky, if the, one of the most notorious supervillains of all time is found dead in a gutter, that's their case. And Walker, Christian Walker, has a secret. He used to be a power. But now he's down here with us, having lost his powers, and it is his job to answer for those who cannot answer for themselves the dead powers of our universe. Um, some of these cases will be some of his oldest friends. Some of these cases will be his longest running enemies. Uh, but every case is going to show us something new about our characters. It's going to show us something about what we've developed in the comic, which is a pretty sprawling mythology ab about superheroes. And it's also going to show us what a world with superheroes would really be like, how we would really treat them, how they would immerse our culture, how they would affect our fashion. And we're just immensely proud of it, and we're immensely proud that we're here today to bring it to your television. Now, I, I'm, I'm a gamer, I'm a game writer, and I know that gamers and comic book lovers, we love our genre hardcore. We love our genres to mash up and to show us something new, to show us something original. And one of my jobs as executive producer of the show is to make sure that the TV show gives us what the comic book gave us, that it has all the integrity and everything that we've built all there with all the authenticity that we can muster. Now, the good news is we have this great team behind the scenes. Our showrunner is award-winning novelist Charlie Houston. Our executive producer is Remy Obushan from Falling Skies and Caprica. Our other executive producer is David Engel from Circle Confusion, and they brought us The Walking Dead. Now, this relieves me to no end that this will be the powers that I want to see on TV, that hopefully is the powers that you want to see on TV. As we speak, we're in production, casting is underway, and all summer long, we're going to have all kinds of announcements and teases and all kinds of stuff for you online. Uh, but just to give you something for today, let's show you some uh, brand new concept art that just came from our concept artist. And I think it shows you just a little taste of what we're going to have, which is like everything I love about you know, gritty crime fiction and spectacular superheroes mashed up together for something completely new. On behalf of Michael Avon Oming and the producers and everyone working on the show and the writers, I want to thank Sony Television. I want to thank PlayStation and thank all of you who have been so vocal in your support of the book for all these years and the idea of a TV show. We're coming to you on PlayStation. Thank you very much. Thanks, Brian. PlayStation 4 owners won't have to wait long for powers. I'm happy to announce that it will be available in the US in December. We want to make sure that as many PlayStation fans as possible get an opportunity to experience our vision for original content. So every PSN user in the US will get to watch the first episode of Powers for free. As you're aware, we're constantly bringing more value to the PlayStation Plus subscription service. Today, this comes in the form of discounted games, early access to beta programs, and the instant game collection which has resulted in a 190% increase in Global Plus subscribers since the PS4 launch. We'll be adding more value to Plus in the future by including our original programming. I'm pleased to announce that all Plus subscribers in the US will be able to view the entire Powers series for free. In addition to original content, we're also leveraging Worldwide Studios' well-loved franchises and Sony's family of media channels to bring new theatrical content to existing PlayStation fans and entirely new audiences. Here's a look at 
Ratchet and Clank, the movie. I've always dreamt of being a galactic ranger, doing big things like Captain Cork. You don't have what it takes. Wait, God, just give me a chance. Sorry, no time. Galaxy in jeopardy. Get back out there. And remember, you can do anything, as long as you're me. Q Montage! That was a close one, huh? Yeah, that is gonna show up on my mid-year review. Ratchet and Clank creator Insomniac Games is heavily involved in the film, and we're also working with the studio to reimagine the original Ratchet and Clank for PS4. The game will feature completely new visuals and gameplay sequences that will rival the best PS4 games on the market. Both the movie and game will be available in the first half of 2015. And we'll continue to release exclusive content and titles only available on PlayStation that are nothing short of amazing. We announced in April that The Last of Us a game that won more than 200 Game of the Year awards last year is being remastered for PS4. Let's see what's in store. As you've seen tonight, we have the industry's best developers creating games for PS4 right now. And there's more. A long-standing partnership with Kojima Productions and Konami has been a staple of the PlayStation history. Today, it is my pleasure to introduce a new trailer that some of you might have gotten a sneak peek of last night. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Metal Gear Solid V, The Phantom Pain. Like the prophets once said And the ashes Are all cold now No more bullets And the embers are dead Whispers in the air 
tell the tales of the brothers gone. Desolation, devastation. What a mess we made when it all went wrong. Watching from the edge of the circus for the games to begin. Gladiators draw their swords from their ranks for Armageddon. I'm nuclear, I'm wild, I'm breaking up inside. A heart of broken glass, dear foul, deep inside the abandoned shell. Standing on the edge of the unknown, looking at the abyss. And I'm hoping for some. Metal Gear Solid 5 on PS4 is going to be amazing. And now, let's take a look at something from a company that I've had a personal relationship with since the PS2 era. Their games have kept PlayStation gamers up late at night for generations as they pioneered new genres and new experiences. Take a look. I'm thrilled to announce that Grand Theft Auto V is coming to PlayStation 4 this fall. 
Grand Theft Auto V takes full advantage of the power of PS4 and features a host of enhancements and new details for players to discover. Plus, the current community of PS3 players and Xbox 360 players will have the ability to transfer their GTA online progress and characters to the PlayStation 4. I'm not done yet. Another game that I get the honor of sharing with you tonight is from the acclaimed studio Rocksteady and publishing giant Warner Brothers. Please, take a look. Bruce, I found Penguin. He's got a weapons cache on the north end of Miyagani Island. The area is heavily protected by the Arkham Knight's drone forces. Be careful. I'm on my way. Diagnostics. Thermal imaging shows the Arkham Knight's tanks are unmanned and controlled remotely. You're clear to engage. Weapon systems online. Be careful. Lovely money, and it's all mine. No. <laughs> the Arkham Knight. 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 The Arkham Knight. So that's who we had. How many more bones would you crush? How 
How many lives will you destroy in pursuit of what you call justice? You are the product of everything you fear. Violence, darkness, helplessness. All that remains is for you to watch as I drag your beloved Gotham into oblivion. Spectacular and even more smoke than at the EA press conference. Batman Arkham Knight on PlayStation 4 will be amazing and comes with Scarecrow Nightmare missions that are only available on PlayStation. PlayStation remains steadfast in our commitment to provide gamers the thrills, deep narrative experiences, and challenging gameplay they desire. Our team of creative minds is passionate about doing one thing better than anyone else, creating the best place to play. I'd like to leave you with one last title from one of the finest studios in the world that captures the very best of the PlayStation spirit. Thank you all so much and have a wonderful evening. You've been out of the game for a long time. Or maybe I need to remind you the kind of people we'd be crossing here. Sully, I know the risks. But come on, it's a surefire plan. <laughs> yeah. If there's one thing I've learned in all these years, it's there's no such thing as a surefire plan. I don't really have an option here. You know that. Yeah, maybe you're right. I've been out of the game, but I need back in. So can I count on you? One last time. All right, kid. Let's go do it. One last time.